Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today will be part two of trying to tune the diff on the Habao Hyper MTX. Hopefully we get it right this time. Alright everyone, do me a favor. Go ahead and hit that like button, hit the subscribe, help me out, share this content, get the word out, and uh, help grow the channel so I can bring you better and better stuff. Oh wow, I really bent this, uh... I think all these pins here are a little bit bent. So we're going to be doing two things today. I'm going to be putting the, uh, the tethers on these pins. I got these right here from Arma. I'm not sure the part number. Uh, I don't have that piece anymore, but they're just standard body tethers. So we're going to be putting those on. So I don't want to keep losing body pins. And we'll be working on the center diff. I'm not going to do a whole big thing showing you how to tear apart the diff and all that. Um, there's other videos on that. I have videos. I showed you the diff on the last one, kind of explained a little bit how they work. So I'm not going to go into all that on this one. So we're going to try to keep it quick and easy here. But yeah, you know, I've been in back in the hobby for like two years and I understand how the discs work. I've tuned them and stuff like that, but I'm still trying to grasp like the differences in oils, like for shock weight, going from like say a 30 to a 50, you really see a difference in the shock oil, even like a 30 to a 70, huge difference with the little jump of numbers. But obviously with the, you know, differential fluids, uh, you know, going from like a 7,000 to a 20,000, not a lot of difference. So I'm thinking 500K, maybe it might need thicker with this size of a vehicle. I mean, 500, I know the, the four, the, yeah, the forest crate and uses this. I might need to go to like a million because I think that's about what like the sledge uses. But I feel like this was, like, like I said, I don't know. I'm, I'm learning as I go along too. So it's just going to be, I want to say, I'm going to try 500, see how it goes. If that work, if this doesn't work the way I want to, then we'll step it up to 1 million. So let me go ahead and get this diff out and uh, I'll check back in with you. All right. Uh, <laughs> man, I was battling getting that diff in and I could have sworn I, yesterday when I took that thing apart that I looked at both the front and rear dry shafts i thought they were equal but obviously not the front one's a little shorter so if you put the longer one in you can't get the gearbox the center diff to push forward well lesson learned but i got three out of four of the tethers in here uh this is not going to help my european friends any probably not but a five 30 second drill bit i, I just got these i'm so happy these are like little hex headed ones uh or not hex headed they're basically like driver you know they got the driver uh, hex shank drill bit this will be in my amazon store if you're interested or you quite sure you find like a metric one if you must the 530 seconds gives you uh, a pretty good hole where it's tight to get this thing in and out you know we like a tight hole here so we'll push this through grab it with some needle nose and you can you know give it a good bit of pressure these are fairly strong and there we go it's starting to come through pop there she goes and now hopefully we won't have problems with the dang uh losing these uh, pins really hate that kind of takes away from the look of everything but it really sucks when you lose damn body pins out there on a run. So there we have it, mate. We got us some uh, tethers. We got it all tethered up. Uh, I do want to say, I probably could say it when I'm out there, but I know everybody's, I'm not going to say everybody. Generally, when you do this, there's people that have their opinion as to what works best. And somebody's going to go, you need to put this fluid in. You need you guys you really can't do that man you know it's it's really driver preference your diff fluid isn't the answer for everybody if it was that's the only diff fluid they would sell 
Uh, I appreciate advice, suggestions, things like that, but um, people kind of just blatantly go out, that's what you need to, you know, uh, you know what I think I do need to do is, I need to put some more reinforcement in here. I got some body washers somewhere. I think I'm going to try to glue them onto the bottom here and hopefully, because I can already see right here, this body, and this hole is already getting tore up. It needs some type of, I guess you probably, actually, yeah, I probably just need the reinforcement on top. Because that's going to, yeah, I don't think putting it underneath is going to help. Oh, this is going to look like crap, but I do have some body washers somewhere. Yeah. So there's these round discs. And of course, <laughs> it's too small. So maybe, maybe one of my drill bits here can open it. No, I'm just going to have to use the uh, old body reamer to do it manually. But all right, I'm going to go ahead and mess with that. I'm going to go ahead and open these up so they fit. It's going to look like crap, but so it's damaging the body. So if you guys don't know, that's what I mean by the body reamer there. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> so now we got 500K or 500,000 weight. That's what I used. This team, this works so much nicer in the tube. I was gonna use the uh, this bottle here, but man, you know what's like trying to scoop this stuff. I don't know why there's no squirt top, but all right, we will see you out there, the bash place, and we'll see what 500k does for this truck. All right, everyone, what do you think? What's she gonna do? Oh, damn. Guess I should have tried that in the grass first. Guess I should have tried that in the grass first. Look at that. Tether saved the day. Oh boy. Let's see. Let's see what she's gonna do. Oh yeah! <laughs> ah. The tires are ballooning a little bit, but I mean, that's to be expected. That's to be expected. Oh yeah. That's about what I wanted. That's it. Heck yeah, that's... That's about what I was wanting. Hell yeah. Oh no. Yeah. See, the, the tires are gonna, they're gonna balloon. There's no weight on them. But yeah, man, oh, it's carrying the wheelie nicely. And it's not, it's still doing backflips. So I don't wanna go any stronger any thicker than this. I think that 500k. Oh lordy. I need to uh I wonder if I can't adjust that wheelie bar. <laughs> oh man that thing is freaking rocking now. Hell yeah. Oh, look at this, man, the dam. These things aren't stopped. I've already lost one, and... Man, I lost the... Oh, well. Oh, no, no! Damn! Baby, no! Oh, no! Damn. harsh there oh man yes 
See, like when I, I hit that note, it, it snapped that time. It didn't like uh, lazily. Man, this truck, if they would fix the body, this thing would be about perfect. Now, I guess I just have to do like one person said, watch some YouTube videos and learn how to dial in shocks. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna have to thin these out though. Cause it's a little too bouncy. So I think uh, that's gonna probably be next. I'll go ahead and uh, figure out what shock oil to put in here and probably run it down just a little bit. Whoa. Cause it's just, it's, it's bouncing. A little bit too much. Oh, but I am. Man, yeah, this freaking body, man, it's just, oh, look at that tether still, the pin is still here. What the hell? Ow! Damn, man, it pulled the whole freaking thing through. What kind of nonsense is that? More here. Well, how in the world am I supposed to get this? I mean, I already got it shoe gooed. There's just gonna have to be something else here. God, look at man. This sucks, it's such a beautiful body. It's like about absolute junk. Man, they just fix this body. If they fix the body. I did have one person comment on this. They said, you know, the ready to runs, yeah, radios are trash. Most people will swap them out. And I agree with that. I even said it in the video. Uh, most of us that have been in the hobby and have more than one RC are gonna swap out, which I still need to do. I just been too lazy to pull the receiver out of this. Um, but then they mentioned about like the bodies, you know, we'll all get different. And that one, no, I don't really agree with, uh, cause bodies aren't cheap. It's not something that I look to replace. And it's not that remotes are cheap either. Uh, but if you have more than one RC car, it really gets to be a hassle to have 10, 15 remotes, you know? You either gonna swap out the batteries every time you run the car or you're, uh, you're just gonna have a ton of batteries in stock. Ooh. Yeah, I think tuning these shocks will probably help it with the, it wanting to roll over so much. Well, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I totally. I was watching the tires. Forgot this hill. And by the time I saw it, I tried to brake. Yeah, they're not ballooning as bad as they were. So that's a good thing. Now, the bad thing is I probably freaking got to redo all the damn pins again. That is getting old with this. That is getting old, that every time this thing, I'd rather just have the X-Max and the body pop off. Cause at least two seconds I pop it back on. At least it's not that hard of a... I might see maybe uh, these roof rails right here. Maybe put two more down here. To help um, make that a little bit stronger right through there. Golly man. Yeah, so next thing will just be some shock tuning. Try to get this thing to handle a little bit better. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got the center diff dial then. I'm happy with that. I'm happy. It's doing exactly what I want it to do. Uh, it's keeping the wheelie up. 
not ripping the front tires off. Could I go thicker? Maybe. Uh, I'm only using maybe about a third of the throttle to get it to wheeling. So. I'm not too worried about it. I'm, I'm happy with the way it's performing. So now, now it's just time for the shocks because it is a little bit too too bouncy and like this, the way it drives it just carries it it keeps that front end up so there's almost no weight on that front end and see even when you brake it barely does anything so watch well it's moving a little bit it's not see how the back really squats down damn that wheelie bar sucks jeez it does not freaking even try to hold the damn yeah, that's right. There's no adjustment to that thing. Oh. You just really got to ease into this thing to... Uh, well, every RC's got its own, own way about it. Some of them you just need to jam and hold it to get it to do it. Other ones like this, you really got to work your way into it. <laughs> uh, see, it's a world of difference with just fluid. Fluid can do for a car, whether it be your differentials or the. Uh, I really need to change this thing out because it's making these weird, like steering adjustments, and it's not anything that I'm doing. Oh, that's freaking awesome, man. That thing was already moving and was able to still pull that front end up. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. Even right there, remember before when we jumped that thing, even at slower speed, I was struggling to, to get that front end to come up for it to land right. Now it's, now it's doing it just fine. Whoa! So I just, Work on the shocks. I think, like I said, just a bit thinner. It's not drastic. Just especially that back end just really likes to. Oh no! Jeez, man, look at this. Jeez. This is gonna be one of these ones I'm probably gonna end up. Oh look at it. Body's creaking right here. This body ain't gonna last long. So yeah, this is gonna be probably one of those ones. I'm just gonna end up having to probably find a body. And uh put something better on here unfortunately man such a beautiful blue too I really love the color but even if you bought a second body I just I don't even think this body is gonna hold up long just you know sometimes you could buy like a nice body and have one for a shelf queen but not this one no this body just ain't gonna, it ain't gonna last. All right, everyone, I don't wanna bore you too much. Uh, have me just running around here, having some fun. With this, I just wanted to uh, get the uh, video out showing, uh, I got the uh, center diff dialed in. Man, I got, uh, got a lot of stuff going on here. You guys are gonna find interesting for the channel. We've got some cool stuff going on. Trying to see what this, cause I know like we're there when it, no, I don't know. Uh, see it's, uh, 
Yeah, I feel like it's too stiff because it's not really. It doesn't seem like it's leaning. It just. Uh... See, if I give it gas now, it, it, it kind of pulls out of pulls out of it. <laughs> All right, everyone, man. I appreciate the support. Thank you very much for watching. Like, shares, comments, a super thanks. Using my Amazon store, everything is greatly appreciated. It helps me out tremendously because I have to buy these RCs. I'm self-supported. I've actually turned down some... I've had some offers to work with, like, AliExpress and, and, and something like that. You know, get cars. Um... And the way they want me to like just keep promoting their brand alley and i'm like no I'm, I'm not i'm just not interested i'm not interested in being stuck with somebody's idea how i'm supposed to form a video uh i'm just not gonna do it you know it ain't worth it if i gotta buy a damn rc i gotta buy the damn rc i don't care is it nice to get free stuff absolutely but when they start making these stipulations and rules and things like that, uh, I'm just, uh, guys, I'm not gonna do it. Cause if I can't be honest, I can't make the video about me having fun and trying to share the experience, I'm, I'm not interested. So a little behind the scenes for you. Um, the Hobeo, I just bought it. Um, you know, our friend Chris with the C told me, asked me if I had ever tried these things, recommended them. So I started looking at it, and this one here just really, really, well, the semi caught my eye first. And then, uh, <laughs> then I saw this one, the metal frame and all that, and I was like, I've never had an RC built like this thing, so. I'm like, hell yeah, I wanna try it. I'm always interested to see how things are different. But yeah, I just wanna let you know, I've had offers for, um, some some of the some companies in that like i said alley was the most recent one start me out with something cheap and then say they could work my way up if, if, if this and they said you know they the video has to promote alley express it has to be and i'm i'm just not i'm not doing it because i don't feel like i could be true to myself the channel or, or any of that if i got to make videos the way somebody wants me to make them <laughs> Now, like Horizon Hobby and that, if uh, Traxxas or Horizon wants to send me cars, I think I could probably work with that a little bit. Uh, I'm not going to ever lie and be dishonest about stuff, but the opportunity to get something pre-production and get it going, yeah. Like I mentioned, I work with Team Corrali, although so far, I've yet, actually yet to get anything from them, uh, because... Uh, I bought the Kagama before I was offered the influencer program. And then um, when the Synchro 4 came out, basically they give you a coupon code to order the car. And I would have had to wait for the European shipment to come in, which was about a month behind the American stuff. So I just went ahead and ordered the Synchro 4. And then I asked, I said, hey, I'd really like to do a car, seeing how I didn't take advantage of the Synchro 4, can I get something else? I was like looking at the Suga, and they said, no, nah, we're not interested in any more Suga videos, but I wanted the Suga, so I bought it. <laughs> so, even though I work with them, I haven't gotten anything from them yet, so who knows, maybe, maybe in the future we'll get, I'll get something offered, but yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do videos if it's gonna compromise uh, what I feel like is stuff that people want to watch and if I feel like I, I gotta be worried about promoting a brand over something so like when I talked to Crowley their only stipulation was he said just no bullshit don't uh they don't want you to lie about uh, uh stuff but basically Say this was a brand new crowd I ran into a tree or take a jump and it breaks. They just don't want that to be part of your thumbnail. Like, oh, brand new crowd, he smashed, I broke it. You know, they don't want products given away or whatever to be used in that kind of fashion. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. That's not anything I feel like. 
And they said, you know, just don't make stuff up because they had one influencer mention said something about the shocks on one vehicle uh, weren't the new shocks and that they were carryover and that wasn't true and it caused them a lot of. So he said, oh no, I killed the batteries. So he said, you know, if you ever have a question, just do it. But he's like, you know, he said, you can be honest if something doesn't work well then that's that's just the case it doesn't work well I'm not asking you to lie about anything but also don't make stuff up um, so yeah I, I'm gonna be true to myself and my subscribers I think you know the people that stay here just appreciate the honesty and stuff that come here it's like this man I love this RC that body it's absolute trash it's junk I mean look at this thing it's already broke right here it should not be falling apart and I had a bad feeling from day one that was gonna happen and see I'm only tumbling in the grass well yeah, okay we did a couple in the concrete but I haven't I'm not even bashing it I'm not even like launching it in the air but you know all in all I say the vehicle is like 95% of the vehicle itself is awesome body sucks but all right well I hope you enjoyed watching the hyper MTX go getting the diff tune I'm gonna work on these shocks see if we can't get the handling to work out a little bit better might have to do some front and rear diff tuning too uh, the way this thing turns I might have to thin maybe like that front diff because it just seems like it's pushing a lot in the turns so that's that's gonna affect the handling as well so it's all you know live learn you know it's all part of the hobby Everyone, appreciate the support. Thank you very much. Like, shares, comments, appreciate it. Links down below if you care to help the channel. I have you great discount codes from like, you know, Insta360 and other great companies. So check it out. All right. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.